hello friends welcome back this is Omit from magnet and today we are going to learn how we get the texture file from megascan library and how we can customize them for element 3d so in my previous video we talked about how we get the 3d models from megascan library and how we can use those models inside element 3d so if you not watch my previous video on megascan i strongly recommend you to go and check this video first because only by then you will understand how you can set up the bridge so you will get the video link in the i button and also in the description link so in this video i only focus on how you can download the texture file and which file you need and how you customize those file inside element 3d and how we make a shortcut file for the texture so i am also make a small video by using those textures so first take a look and after that we talk about how we can do this So before I start, I like to thank Mr. Corona Babu who has joined me as a member. So if you want to support me, you can also join me as a member. And if you like this video, I recommend you to check my YouTube channel and you will find so many other videos related to Element 3D. And if you like those video, please subscribe this channel. And I'm also make a small texture pack by using this Megascan texture. So if you want, you can also download the pack. So I am also give the link in the description so you will get this from there. So if you download the pack, you don't need to download the texture from the mega scan because it is ready for element 3D and it will save little time for you. So this is not a best texture pack for element 3D but I think that what I did, I don't want you to do the same work again. So I just put it in a small pack and you can use it in as element 3D. So it will save little time for you so make sure to download this so let's do this okay so first we learn how we download the texture file so jump into the bridge first so in my previous video i talked about how you can sign in inside the bridge so once you sign in here you will find this page here first we go in the left side and you will find these options here that is the 3d asset 3d plans and there is a third option is the surface so first we click on this surface option here so you'll get this library here and also we get this library in the left side as well so this is the asphalt and you also get the asphalt in the left side so here from you can download the texture file and you will get there are so many texture files so you can get anything you want from there so let's talk about this brick texture here so just click on this and you will get the all the texture related to bricks so this one look nice here so first we download this one and see how we can set up this for element 3d so first we click on this texture file here so just like the model you will get the texture file in the upright corner here and also you can if you switch this 3d preview switch here it will take little time and you will get the 3d view here okay so just leave it as a image file here and in this option here you can uh, customize the resolution of the texture so there is a three type of resolution that is the 2k 4k and 8k but we all want the 8k resolution so just stick on this 8k here and if you go to this text setting switch here just click on this and go to the download setting here you will get all the material option here you want to download from here okay so basically in element 3d we only need this albedo which is also the diffuse layer I mean the diffuse texture we don't need this metalness and also we don't need the roughness specular and if you want you can download the diffuse map as well but we all need this gloss map here that is the glossiness and we don't want this uh, displacement but we want the normal map and if you want you can also download the MN occlusion map as well and just uncheck those because we don't need them in element 3d okay so just click on the back and you can download this but before we, uh, we download we also specify the path where we download our files so that this, this is the export location so just click on this and you can uh, customize your download path so maybe we download this path here and if we want we can make a folder for this so just make a folder and name this as as texture 
okay so just select this folder i mean this folder and uh, click this option that is the select folder here okay so anything you download the uh, the download file is uh, downloaded in that folder here okay so just click on the back and now just download this so the download is complete and now we have to export this file as well so just click on the export and you will get this notification here okay our export is complete now so just minimize this so here we are in after effect first we create a new composition for our scene so create a composition here and now we make a solid for element layer so just make it solid so go ahead and apply the element effect on this so first we go to the scene setup so here we are in element 3d ui so in order to import the 8k texture inside element 3d you need to specify the resolution so go to the file and then go to the preference and here from you can specify the resolution so there we can find the 1k 2k and 4k and 8k resolution here so because we download our all texture in 8k resolution so we just select this 8k resolution here and hit ok so now we create a plane here and in this plane we are going to apply all those texture so maybe we just increase the scale little bit here and these are the texture that we just download from the bridge okay so now we just drag and drop to its specific slot so first we expand this material here and select this material option here and then we just drag and drop to its specific slot here okay so first we um, place this diffuse and then we drag and drop this ambient occlusion texture and also the glossiness and first we go click on this glossiness and we crush the contrast here little bit just like this and hit ok and then we copy and paste it to the reflectivity channel as well and the last we just drag this normal bump in here okay so now if we see that it look nice but if we want to see the more detail here we just uncheck the draft texture option here okay so now you can see the detail so this look amazing okay right but if you look closely that our normal map is not look right here so one thing we have to do that go to the normal bump map here and just click this option that is the invert y okay so now you can see the difference so if we invert this map it look more natural okay so now just hit ok so now you can get this texture file layer and once you set up your texture file you just click here and there's the option that is the called save as material preset just click on this and now you can specify the folder where you want to save this shortcut so we can select this texture file because this folder content the all the texture file so just select this and hit ok so now if you close this and then go to the layer and create a new camera for our scene and hit ok and select this camera tool here and you can see this texture file here because the texture file is in 8k so you can find that our video is little bit laggy and if we change the resolution to half you can see this look really amazing so now if we again go to the element 3d and if you delete all these and also delete this uh, shortcut here and now if we create a new plane here again and because we save the material preset so we don't need to do the all the work again so just go to the texture and you will get this texture file here and just drag and drop to our model here and you will instantly get the material here and it will take little time because the material is in 8k so let's see okay so now you can see that we don't need to do the all the texture work again because we save the preset here so this is very handy and you can do other texture and make a shortcut so you will get those texture ready for element 3d so now just hit ok but if you see that 
there is no such displacement because it is just a flat plane and we apply the texture in the plane so if you want a little bit displacement in your surface to make it more realistic so for this we are using cinema 4d so here we are a cinema 4d but i'm not going to make a complex scene inside cinema 4d it's just a simple work you have to do so first we create a plane here so go to this option and create a plane here and go over here and make the plane to maybe 5 cm width and 5 cm high and then we increase the segments so make it as 1000 and also make this one 1000 as well ok so this is the maximum value ok so now we put a little displacement here so come over here and just select this displacer so displacer is here and now just click and drag underneath the plane so now we apply the displacer into this plane here okay so first we select this displacer and then we click on this shading option here and now we choose the texture file so here is the texture folder just double click on this and just click on here and we select this normal map here okay so just click on this and you just click on this no okay so it will take little time and now you can see that if we press alt and hold the alt and just click and you can move your object like this so you will see that the normal map also work here and make those displacement okay but we don't want this kind of displacement here so just go to this option that is the object and there is an option called height and we just decrease it to one so now we get little bit of displacement here and this is our surface for our scene okay so just select this and go to the go to the file and click on this export and element 3d recognize the obj format so just select this obj format here and then we export the model anywhere you want maybe we import this here this is the model library of um, of element 3d just save here and hit ok so it will take little time to export this surface ok so our model is export successfully now go to the after effect then go to the scene setup so first we delete all the previous file here and this is the surface that we just create just click and it will appear here and you will see that there is a little bit of displacement in this surface okay if you select this scale switch here and if you increase the y scale you will see that the more displacement here but we don't want that much of displacement so just make it as default so now we apply the material over this surface so there is our material just click and drag to here and now we will get this material here and also we get little bit of displacement so now it look amazing so now if you want you can make a little bit more displacement here so just increase the y axis little bit not much okay so now if we hit ok you will get this nice result here okay so we'll get a little bit of displacement and this is also match with the texture so this is the trick that how you can make a realistic texture inside element 3d with little bit of use cinema 4d but the cinema 4d work is very simple so you don't need to know the complexness of cinema 4d it is very simple that i show you here and you will get the nice detail here okay so let's make a small scene using this so first you go to the scene setup and maybe we make this surface little bit bigger so maybe we just duplicate the surface couple of times so make a bigger surface here just like this so i am press and hold the alt key and just drag this axis and this will duplicate your object so this is just a simple shortcut for element 3d okay so just like this and now we put some object here so maybe I am putting the mega scan model 
so this is the model just click on this okay the model is appear here and maybe we place it here maybe we scale it up a little bit and place it here and place it here and just hit ok ok so this look something like this so first we create a light for our scene so maybe we create a spotlight here and increase the intensity to maybe something like this and hit ok and you can see that the spotlight make a nice light here so first we press P to bring the light position and maybe place it here just like this and you can see that our surface which is little bit displaced also interact with the light okay so first we go to the render setting of the element 3d layer and enable the shadow so you will get a nice shadow and also you can see that little bit of shadow in the displaced surface as well so this look amazing and for this we are going to apply some environment also so get a nice uh, PBR result here which is the physically based lighting of those material so for this I'm going to use my own material uh, environment pack that is the magnet SDRI pack and I recommend you to if you don't have this just download this and you will get the link in the description so just apply this one and hit ok and you will get a nice environment light as well and then again also we create a ambient light for our scene so just create an ambient light here and it decrease the resolution uh, I mean the intensity and hit ok and you will get some GI as well so again we go to render setting and maybe we enable the ambient occlusion switch here and increase the intensity little bit and also go to the advanced option and increase the light influence as well as the depth influence just like this and you can see that this look really amazing okay so this is how you can download the texture from the mega scan library and also uh, import in element 3d and you can customize and also make the shortcut file for the texture and if you want a little bit more displacement you can do the work that i just did in cinema 4d so this is very simple and i think you get the idea so this is the video about and I hope you really enjoy this video and if you really like this video I recommend you to check my other videos and if you like those videos please do subscribe this channel so this is Amit from magnet and we will see in my next video so till then take care and bye bye